On this episode, me and the boys head off on an adventure to explore the nearby mountains. This is Desert Homestead Prepping. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Okay, we're gonna go off for a ride, uh, go explore through the mountains. See if we can find some new trails that we haven't been on and you know, we'll bring you guys along for the ride. I asked the boys what they would like to do today for our last day. I said, would you guys like to do more work? And they were like, mm, I don't know about that. So they, they opted to go out and have some fun. So we're gonna, we're gonna go out see what we can find and, you know, see if there's any more cool places that we haven't been to yet. Which I'm sure there's plenty. I mean, there's we got a whole mountain range here. So we're excited to go see what we can find. So we're going to get going. And, and uh, you know, we got plenty of water. And hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully we don't have any breakdowns on any of the, any of the four-wheelers. You guys ready to go? I could not find my goggles, so I got stuck with uh, the girls' goggles, which is fine. I could wear pink. So we'll uh, we'll head off to the trails. We found, we found ourselves a scorpion. I haven't seen one of those. Sounds like when you kind of build the food container. That's crazy. It's not too big if you look at my finger here. My good finger. But he's scared to death. We're not going to hurt him. Yeah, we were just stopping by to revisit a memory when Matthew here had the dry belt burn off the red four-wheeler and he got stuck. Um, and then Gabe went to, uh, you know, had Matthew get on the blue four-wheeler right here. And they were concerned because it was starting to get dark. So they were racing back to camp as fast as they could and had it wrapped out as high as that engine would go and he melted the piston right inside <laughs> the engine um, and we didn't know exactly what it was but either way they they broke both four-wheelers at the same time and it was pretty crazy but yeah this is where I had to bring the truck back here and try to load this red four-wheeler that's that's probably five to six hundred pounds onto the back of the truck and so he was actually up on that road with it which made it easier to push it and we backed the truck up right here and we actually use these rocks right here to to kind of lift the the four-wheeler up the last little bit to get into the bed of the truck so it was it was a pain in the butt so either way it's pretty cool to see the scorpion is it hiding behind the rock? yeah of course he's hiding behind the rock <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna get going again this sure is a beautiful place um just very nice
Okay, we we made it to a cool spot here. We have been here before uh, years ago, but this is another spring that comes out of the mountainside. You could tell by these 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 trees, and these won't grow anywhere else because they have to have a constant water source. So we're curious to see how much water is is coming out of this spring because we are in a drought and it's been really bad this year. Wow, this is a just a beautiful oasis. No wonder those cows were having a good time hanging out under these trees. It's just very nice and cool. So this, this area is BLM land and these these ranchers do pretty good at it fencing off the source of these springs or at least they try to to keep the cattle out of it yeah. whoa, whoa. <laughs> pretty cool Yeah, this is this would be plenty of water to live off of to survive right here if you had to. This would be a a really nice survival camp area. Yeah, we found these these berries. Obviously we don't dare to eat the berries. They they look similar to blueberries, but they're not blueberries for sure. There's no way blueberries survive in this climate. But we found these these ants everywhere. So they are very happy to have these berries, obviously. <laughs> it's crawling all over. Alright, we're gonna get back on our four-wheelers. We're gonna go and explore some more. So we, we kind of came from this way. So we're gonna go back and hit the fork and, and try going that way farther and see what else there is. We had to leave Gabe's bike behind. The carburetor is just not doing too good on it. So he's hitched a ride with Matthew. We're gonna go a little farther. We're coming up this steep spot right here. We're getting pretty high up in the mountains now. Wow. We have gone way higher than we had planned. But this is where we are. We're we're close to the summit. We'll be able to look over the top of the other side of the mountain. We're just taking it slow. These rocks are so sharp that the best thing to do is just creep really slow. The last thing we need is a flat tire way up here.
look they they haven't gathered enough rock I mean yesterday they they said that they'd got plenty but you know apparently they had a, a lot more rock that they wanted to gather should we bring the truck up here and we'll load it up no Is that a little too much Yeah, this is just absolutely amazing to look at the, the view up here. I guess that's it for this episode um, thanks for coming on a ride with us we'll leave you guys off with us up at the top of the mountains boys have made themselves a monument and you know that way they can they can leave their mark for where they have set their feet for the first time we we have actually been up over in this area before but this is a new place really really exciting we're uh, we're hoping later on in the future we'll come back and we'll we'll ride this summit because there's trails that go all the way along this and and then we'll come back down on this road that'll lead back to our our camp all right that's it for now I hope you're having a great summer and we, you know, we wish you the best